Shaddad and the Lost City of Iram, a tale of ambition and divine retribution. The desert winds whispered secrets of ancient times, stirring the sands that concealed untold mysteries. Among these legends, the story of Shaddad, the ambitious king of the tribe of Ad, stands out like a mirage of grandeur and hubris. Shaddad's tale is not just a chronicle of his attempt to create an earthly paradise, but also a poignant reminder of the limits of human ambition and the enduring power of divine will. Moving ahead with this interesting and informative video, I request you to please subscribe to the channel. Shaddad, a descendant of the mighty Ad, ruled with an iron fist and a vision that extended beyond the ordinary realms of kingship. His heart was filled with a desire to emulate the paradisiacal descriptions he had heard of the afterlife. The Quranic verses and the stories passed down through generations spoke of gardens beneath which rivers flow, eternal bliss, and unimaginable beauty. Shaddad, with his vast wealth and unyielding ambition, resolved to recreate this paradise on earth, thereby cementing his legacy as the greatest king to have ever lived. The vision of Iram, often referred to as Iram of the Pillars, was born from this insatiable desire. Shaddad envisioned a city that would surpass the grandeur of any known civilization, a place where opulence and splendor would know no bounds. He commanded the best architects, artisans, and laborers from across his kingdom and beyond. The construction of Iram became an endeavor of epic proportions, a manifestation of Shaddad's will and resources. The city, with its towering pillars, lush gardens, and sparkling streams, began to take shape amidst the arid expanse of the desert, an oasis of unimaginable beauty. Yet as the city rose from the sands, so did Shaddad's arrogance. He saw himself as not just a king, but a creator, challenging the very boundaries set by the divine. His court was filled with sycophants who praised his vision and reinforced his belief in his own godlike capabilities. Shaddad's hubris grew with every stone laid, every tree planted. He began to see Iram not just as a testament to human ingenuity, but as a direct rival to the divine paradise promised in religious scriptures. Shaddad's obsession with Iram led him to ignore the warnings of the wise and the faithful. There were voices that cautioned him against such blasphemous aspirations, but they were drowned out by the chorus of adulation that surrounded him. In his pursuit of earthly perfection, Shaddad became blind to the spiritual decay that his ambition had wrought. His defiance of divine authority reached its zenith when he declared that Iram would be open for all to see, a paradise on earth that would rival the heavens themselves. The day of the grand unveiling arrived, a moment that Shaddad had envisioned as his ultimate triumph. As he and his retinue approached the gates of Iram, the city gleamed in the sunlight, a testament to human achievement and Shaddad's indomitable will. But just as he was about to step into his self-made paradise, a divine decree intervened. The skies darkened, and a great storm arose from the desert. The sands, which had so far been a foundation for his dreams, turned against him. Iram, the city of pillars and paradise, was swallowed by the earth, buried beneath the very sands from which it had sprung. Shaddad and his followers perished in the cataclysm, their grand visions reduced to dust and memory. The city of Iram became a lost legend, a tale whispered by the winds that traversed the desert. The once mighty king who had sought to rival the divine was forgotten by history, his name a cautionary tale of hubris and divine retribution. The sands covered Iram, hiding its splendor and leaving behind only the story of its rise and fall. In the aftermath of Shaddad's fall, the remnants of the tribe of Ad were left to ponder the lessons of their king's overreach. The story of Iram and Shaddad became a moral parable, a reminder of the transient nature of human achievements when they defy the divine order. It is a tale that speaks to the heart of human nature the desire to leave a mark on the world, and the perils of letting ambition override humility and piety. 
As centuries passed, the legend of Shaddad and Iram was passed down through generations, a story that transcended its historical roots to become a timeless fable. It found its place in Islamic tradition and literature, echoed in the Quranic references to the people of Ad and their fate. Shaddad's story, though shrouded in myth, resonated with the universal themes of pride, downfall, and the enduring power of the divine. In the quiet moments of reflection, when the stars illuminate the desert night, one can almost hear the whispers of the past. Shaddad's tale, with its grand vision and tragic end, serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between human aspiration and the humility required before the vastness of creation. It is a story that tugs at the heart, evoking a profound sense of the ephemeral nature of life and the eternal truths that lie beyond our mortal grasp. Towards conclusion, I remind you to please like, share, and comment on the video and subscribe the channel. In the end, the sands of time cover all but the lessons left behind. Shaddad's ambition, though monumental, was ultimately a fleeting shadow against the backdrop of eternity. His story leaves us with an emotional resonance, a call to remember our place in the grand tapestry of existence, where humility and reverence for the divine are the true paths to enduring legacy. Thank you for watching.